Hey my good people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to play with the Juvia's Place I Live, I Love Holiday Collection. I got most of what they put out um, for this holiday season. So if you're interested in seeing what I create, what I have, by all means, stay tuned. But before you get all cozy, there is a subscribe button that's located right over here. Alongside of it is a notification bell. You have to click both of them, they go together. Okay, the only way you're going to know when I put out a new video is if you click that notification bell. Go ahead, subscribe, and get notified. Go ahead, click it. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So Juvia's Place just recently came out with a holiday collection that for me, I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. Now, the... Eyeshadow palettes were, you know, not the most innovative Christmas palettes out there, but I did end up getting both. And so we're going to go over all the products that I have today, and I will be using most of everything that I have. I'm going to use one out of the two palettes. I will create another video using the other palette. I thought I was going to be, you know, quite ambitious and try to do two looks in one video, but we already know how long my videos get. <laughs> So I'm going to spare you guys as far as that go and just create a whole nother video for another palette. So the two palettes that they came out with is one, the first one I'm going to show you is the I Live I Love palette. So it looks like this. And the palettes run $15 each. Now I will say this, on the Juvia's Place website, they are currently sold out. You can get the palettes on Ulta, but Ulta has them as a um, gift set. Not a gift set. Well, yes, I guess a gift set or a set rather. So you can get the palette and another item. And the other palette is the I Live I Love Ice. And this is the one that I'm going to use today. I really don't play with pastel colors like that, but I think, oops, but I figured that um, I will go ahead and use it today. So you have like these icy blues, kind of periwinkle. And it might be distorting it because my background is blue. I try to, you know, go with the whole theme and thing. But um, it's a pretty palette. So I do want to play with this one today. And again, these palettes run $15 each. Juvie's Place also came out with lip kits. And the first one I have, they only came out with two, and I have both of them, is the I Live I Love Lip Kit and Love a Girl. And it looks like this. Let me take it out of the package so you could see. It's a matte liquid lipstick in a lip pencil. So I don't know if Lover Girl is already a, a part of their collection. Let me see. Okay, no. It just has it um, just a part of this holiday collection. And right now this set, but I think you, can, you can't get this set on Juvia's Place. I think this it's also sold out. Let me see. It is out of stock, but I did see it on the Ulta website, so it's available over there. So the lip pencil that came with Cover Girl is Scorpio. I don't have this shade. So when Juvie's Place came out with their um, their bullet lipsticks and their lip pencils, I didn't jump to get them per se because I'm not a bullet person, a bullet lipstick person. I do have a few of them, but I didn't jump on um, their lip liners like that. I just recently got a few. And this is what Scorpio looks like for those who have not seen it. That's pretty. And this is a big doe foot for this little thing. And I might use this shade with the blue, this lip combination with the um, with the icy blue eyes. Not really sure. I got to see how that works out. And that's Lover Girl. That's a pretty holiday red. And the next lip kit is um, Self Love. And it looks like this. And it's not just Juvia's Place. Like, just overall, a lot of companies are coming out with these nude liquid lipsticks. And is, is this a gloss? Oh, nope. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Like, they have... Several companies are coming out with these nudie kind of shades, but they all look pretty much the same. And this is a pretty shade with a good lip pencil. So that's Self Love. And the lip pencil that came with it is Cola, which I don't have already. And that's, and that's the Cola lip pencil right next to it. And I have Brownie right next to me, so I'm going to swatch it so then you can see what they look like next to each other. And brownie's more of a reddish brown, and cola is more of a neutral brown. And so Juvia's Place came out with a liquid liner and a pen liner, and it came in a set like this. Now, I don't know if you can get them 
individually. I want to say at one point that you could. So I don't know if these liners just came out specifically for the holidays, but let me just take a look. That can't be right. Is it? Okay. So <laughs> for the full set, for the set, for the pen liner and the liquid liner, you get it for $23. And then for the liquid liner by itself is $23. And for the pen liner is $16. I don't know, the Juvie's place price that right? It, it'll definitely be a better buy if you get them both versus just getting like the liquid liner or even the pen liner by itself. But why would the liquid liner be the same price as the set? I don't know. So what I really wanted from this entire holiday collection was a 12 piece brush collection. Now this case I will not be throwing away. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, where I'm gonna put it, but I love it. Look at these brushes. Like, I wanted to order three. Not that I needed any more makeup brushes, but because one, they're black owned, and so I'm trying to flip the brushes that I do have. So I have a lot of Morphe brushes. These went really quickly. So you can still get the brushes on Juvia's Place, and they are $45. So let's get started on this look. Okay, so I am gonna do my brows on camera only because I am going to use the Juvia's Place brow pen. Now I have used this before, but I used it to create my look for that alter ego challenge. So I figured, you know, since I haven't brought it to the channel, why not use it today? So I'm gonna go in with my brow freeze from ABH. And so I've been trying to get into this. I wanna finish it. Like I have brow soap, but I wanna finish using this product first. This camera keeps going in and out of focus and it's pissing me off. Like, I don't know what to do. I have to move my head. And with the brow freeze, like, I'm not mad at it. Now, using brow soap is definitely cheaper, but I, won't, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't repurchase this. So I did prime my face and I put my color corrector on. So I have the Juvia's Place Ice Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Pen in Dark Brown. Now this bad boy is pretty dark. And that's what it looks like. It looks just as dark as a liquid eyeliner. I didn't get their pencils only because I um I didn't really care for the shades. Like I thought the shades were off. Like the dark brown looked ashy, like a dull brown. And I'm just trying to go in with a light hand. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Okay, you see it does come out a little dark. I will say this. I don't know if I will give up my pomades for this. The gook on this thing is the <laughs> the the brow freeze. I wish that Juvie's Place would come out with a brow pomade. The thing I don't like about the pen, it leaves like these little hard ink spots. Yeah, this is taking way too long. And I only used it once before this time around. See, I don't like that little gap. Not horrible, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase this. Again, I'm gonna have to play with it a few t more times to give you like a real opinion on it. But as of right now, I'm not, I'm not blown away by it. Okay, so I just, just sculpted my brows off camera because I was starting to get annoyed. So I'm going to apply some base on my eyelids and I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer in shade 2. So if you want to know in comparison to P. Louise, this shade 2 versus Rumor 2. Shade 2 is more of a warmer tan versus um, P. Louise, which is more of a cool tone beige or yeah. Yeah, what I like to say beige off white. To spot clean my brushes, I use the Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. This stuff is pretty awesome. Expensive, but good. And it cleans 99.99% .99 bacteria. So, and it, and it dries quickly. Okay, so let's get into this I Live I Love Ice Palette. And I'm going to just stick to using Juvia's Places brushes as much as possible. So I'm going to start off using this periwinkle shade right here and i'm going to use this brush yeah okay this is going to kill my plan of telling you which brush i'm using 
I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's a, I guess the diffuser brush. I wish they had put what kind of brush it was on the brushes would make life easier because I don't know if everybody's going to keep the case itself. But also the names of the brushes are at the bottom of the holder. I don't think they thought that one through. But because this is a stiffer brush, it might make the color look deeper. I'm going to go ahead and use it because per usual, I don't know where I'm going with this look. Because there's only two matte shades in here. A glitter shade, two mattes, and three shimmer. I'm just tapping the product and moving it around. And do you plan on picking up this collection? Have you picked it up? And if you have picked it up, what looks have you done? Or what looks do you plan on doing with it? And what I have noticed, not uh, I haven't seen any of their influencers put out any videos in reference to this collection. So I don't know if they even got their PR yet. Because sometimes I look to them to see whether or not I'm going to even get it. Which I really don't need no influence on that. I usually get whatever Juvia's Place is coming out with. Even if I'm not sure. This is just a fluffy brush. Again, the names are not on the brushes. And I'm going to go in with this lighter shade. And yeah, there's no names for these. Just, I'm just double checking. So... This lighter shade right here. It looks damn near white on camera. I wish in this brush collection they came out with like a stiffer blending brush. Yeah, I don't know about this shade. She's white. But we just laying the color down. We're gonna go back in with that other periwinkle looking shade. Okay, we're just laying color down. Yeah, that's light. This is definitely different for you, girl. I'm going to attempt to do a halo with this look. I'm going to go back in with that periwinkle shade and just reapply. I had also thought about bringing out the Fumi collection that came out. It, it was either at the end of last year or the beginning of this year. And I'm not adding any more product. I'm just blending. I might go back in to that periwinkle shade. And I guess I could have incorporated other palettes to kind of expand the look. But I was like, why? This is a six shadow pan palette. So we're just gonna stick with what we got going on here, okay? She's definitely <laughs> different. Okay, I'm not really sure which shimmer I wanna go in first. So I'm gonna try this multicolored one right here. Swatch it. But they're kinda, they're kinda chunky. These, um, these shimmer shades are not the smoothest. I think that's a fair statement. So these are the three shimmer shades. <laughs> They're okay. Definitely not something I will go home and brag about, no. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and it's coming off a little chunky. You see how chunky that is? Okay, Juvia's Place, what's poppin'? That's really chunky. Man, I should have wet it just to see what it was going to do. So I have a problem. I just want to point this out. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to redo my eye because if you guys can't see, this eyeshadow is chunky as hell. Like it's chunky. It's kind of patchy. And I used Juvia's Places eyeshadow primer. I am using their brushes. And this is the application that I am getting. It looks this it looks bad. It just does. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off, redo my eyes. So the matte shades, I didn't really have a problem with it. So I don't think I'm gonna come back so you guys can see the matte shade application. I am gonna use a different primer. I have to keep it a buck. I don't know. This primer, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to what I normally use and see if that makes a difference and then I'm gonna come back and just reapply the shimmers to see if that makes a difference I don't know I didn't do anything different yeah this is bad so I'll be right back this look is exhausting me and it's only six shades in this palette like I shouldn't have to be overworking myself for a six pan eyeshadow palette <sighs> but here we are so I wasn't going to cut the crease today. I was going to do a halo eye. But because I had to take my makeup off, well, 
take my eyeshadow off and reapply, I'm not in the mood anymore. When I have to deal with an eyeshadow palette that makes me put in overtime, mm -mm, I lose interest immediately. Things should go smoothly, no? Don't you agree? So I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to cut it with the shade two of the um, Juvia's Place eyeshadow base. Why was I gonna do it? I should use my other brush. This brush is huge. This eyeshadow base just moves around a bit. I'm just gonna do one eye right now, just to see where it goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go in with that matte shade right here and kind of just bring it inwards. And I'm just using the flat brush from the Christmas collection. And like I said, I wasn't trying to pull in another palette to save this look. So I wanted you to see the actual performance of this one eyeshadow palette. Because sometimes we get blinded by kind of mix matching, so you're not really paying attention to what eyeshadows are really working well. And for me, I think that it doesn't stick down really well either. Like there's some patchiness right here, like it's kind of sheer. After I do this look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look at other people's reviews and see what they say about this because it just can't be me. It's a pretty eyeshadow. And it's applying better than it did the first time. And I'm using this shade right here. So I'm gonna wet it a little. What we got going on here. Okay, application a tad bit better. I'm gonna sit here and whine about it. Yeah, application way better. So that's what I'm gonna do with the next shade. I'm gonna wet it to see if the application is a little bit better. So this shade right here, it's a iridescent, like a purpley blue silvery shade. And she's chunky, point blank period. Like this, cause when you put your, when you put your flat brush in it, it immediately leaves a dent. So I'm gonna wet it. Oh, this shade is horrendous. Like, <laughs> you could see the fallout in chunks. Listen, that shade right there, there's really no save in it, none. It's a poorly made eyeshadow. And again, I'm gonna go look at other people's videos and see what they say. <laughs> but they'll see, they're gonna lie. If they say that all the eyeshadows in this palette is great, they're lying. Cause there's no way, there's no way. So I'm gonna try to save this look by applying glitter over this nonsense I just did. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter adhesive. Apply it over the shimmer. I'm just gonna tap it. I'm not gonna brush it on. I'm just gonna tap it on. Oh, this glitter is beautiful. This glitter is what saved this look because Jesus. I should have left room for a wing liner because I feel like, at first I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna use the eyeliners in this video, but I feel like it's necessary because this look actually looks like garbage. I mean, the glitter is saving it, but I'm not the most impressed currently, just to keep it a buck. The glitter's pretty though. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to go off camera for a bit and then just do this eye. And then I'm gonna put, if I use eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera. Everybody knows what it looks like to put on eyeliner and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts and opinions on the liquid eyeliner. So I'm just gonna apply my foundation and this is just more so for me using the brush. So you guys can see how the brush works and whether or not it blends well. Yeah, but I am gonna use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation in Togo. I'm not reviewing the, the foundation. I've used it here a couple of times on my channel. As a matter of fact, I think I created a video when it first came out. And this brush actually feels like their foundation brush that has like the, what's it, I wouldn't say duo. It's like the multicolored brush. One side's like white, another side is brown. So I love their brushes. The only thing about white haired brushes is that sometimes it gets it's too hard to clean. And right now, like, I'm rooting for the brushes. Like, if I'm going to recommend anything <laughs> to you guys, as of right now, it's the brushes. Even though, for real, like, the, the blending brushes weren't the hottest. I'm just going to be honest. They were okay. And with the Juvie's Place Foundation, it is full coverage. But this brush is definitely spreading out the product. This is as good as it's gonna get because for real, for real, I'm truly over it. 
And so I'm just going to put my concealer on off camera because I don't have a brush to do the concealer. So yeah, and you guys already seen me apply Juvia's Place Eye Magic Concealer up here, so I don't need to show you guys again. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the Bronze Bronze Dark. Well, a mix between the dark and the deep dark. The brush that is in this set, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's not fluffy enough. Like, it's soft or whatever, but not, it's too dense for bronzing, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the shade right here. I think this is just too red. I've only used this one, and I only used it once. I really can't remember what the outcome was for real. And I'm only using the brushes in this set, which is hard for me, because I feel like I need a fluffier brush. Something that spreads the product, like blows it out a little bit. I think this might have been like a blush brush. I don't know. I have to look at the bottom of the box to tell you what it is. Now when I applied my foundation, like the setting powder, I did use my colored rain brush. And what might be throwing it off too is this one size pressed powder. And because I got deep four, which is a neutral rosy shade. And it's not a horrible color. It's just deeper than what I normally go with. So I don't know. That might keep just be throwing off my eyes a little bit. And I'm going to use this angle brush for my contour, and I'm going to go in with the deep dark. I don't even know if I want to use that shade. Well, let's try it. I can't remember if it was dark enough. Let's see. It's red. Mm-hmm. No. Let's go with that bottom shade. This is still kind of red, huh? It is. It is a little... So it's not contouring. It's just a deep red. When I tell you, I have lost all gumption <laughs> to do this. To do this look. I mean, truly. Now I'm going to go on my Colored Rain. And then this is a bronzer too, but I don't recall it being this like red. I don't know. The eyeshadow has killed my mood. You hear me? Once this eyeshadow went to crap, it was like, wah, wah, for everything else. I just look redder. No? When I say over it, I just want to finish this look and get on with it. <laughs> just... I don't know how this shade is going to look. This peachy shade, and this is from the Volume Volume 2 Blushed Rougey Palette, Duo Palette. And I'm just going to use what I used for my bronzer and see. Okay. Oh, she's pigmented. And this brush is so dense. It's fun. Like, I didn't want something, like, too, like, bright. It's, just, it's still, it's, like, subtle. Not super ashy, but on the verge of being ashy. Even though I didn't get the high, the the bundle with the palette and the highlighter, I do have one of Juvia's Place's loose highlighters, and I don't even know. I don't even think it's listed in the description of that bundle which highlighter it is. So I just figured, why not just use what I got? Now I'm not sure if this is considered a highlighter brush. It's one of them. I want to say it's this, but this is a whole lot of brush for highlighter. So I'm just going to take what's in the lid of this highlighter. And the one that I'm using is the Royalty shade. Lord, I don't like how that's looking. It's a whole lot of, whole lot of. I feel like it's just sitting. Okay, we are down to the lips. You don't understand how happy I am to know that we are now here. <laughs> I'm not really sure which lip combo I wanted to go with. I'm not going to shift my gears and pick another lip combination. I'm going to use what came out with the collection because I'm going to only assume the lips that they placed with this collection are the lips that should go with it. So I'm going to try Lover Girl and Scorpio first to see if I like that combination. Why is this... Pencil not gliding. Okay, maybe my lips are too glossy. Hold on. When I tell you, I can't take nothing else. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. When I say I have low energy today, like, and I, I started this video feeling some type of way, like, oh, so gung-ho. But after just the eyeshadow, I was done. Here is Lover Girl with Scorpio. I mean, 
I'm not hating the look overall. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. I'm not hating it. But again, like I'm low energy because this eyeshadow palette just, just had me go through the gigs like, hmm. Yeah, it's a cute lip combo. I don't, I can't say for certain whether or not I would rock it with this color eyeshadow. I mean, it's definitely a look. I think it'd make a good Instagram picture. Maybe not with this plain t-shirt. No, it's not even a plain t-shirt. But with this t-shirt that I have on, it's a look. It's a different holiday look, I will say. So let's give the other lip kit a go. Okay, let's let's try this one. This is self-love. Self-love and uh, cola. You see with this brown already? Like, it's not even deep enough for me. Cola is too... It's too light. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. This one is missing something. I don't know what it is, but it's missing something. This is brownie. Let me see if brownie can make it look any better. I think I just need some gloss. And this is just some regular beauty supply store lip gloss. Well, before I get into my final thoughts, I just want to show you guys my little sample of my logo. Isn't that cute? Hopefully, sometime in the new year, I'll get to bring these t-shirts out to you guys along with some other things. The Two Worlds, One Love is... The brand that I'm starting for the Afro Latinx community. Let me know what you think. Let me give you my final thoughts on the I Live I Love holiday collection by Juvia's Place. I am going to keep it a buck because I need to. There's no other way. I mean, one, you can already see the frustration I was going through throughout the video, but just let me just say what I need to say. So, with the I Live I Love Ice Palette, I love the color story in this. I really do. I like the fact that, you know, some companies are coming out with lighter shades, catering to deeper skin tones. And for me, I think the color overall pops on my complexion. And I love that. This glitter is very pretty. This shade right here is very pretty. Once you, once you spray it down with something, it does pop a little bit. This shade laid down pretty well. Now, I really don't know what was happening with this one here. Like, trying to get them to blend together really wasn't happening. And this piece of basura right here is the worst. Now, I think at this point that we all have some form of iridescent blue, icy blue shadow. Whether we have it as a highlight or whether we have it as an eyeshadow, we have it in our collection, I'm sure. And I don't recall any of the other ones being chunky. I know the iridescent colors are kind of hard to make. And that's just not because I've done research on that. That's just the evidence of the products that I receive. That those particular shadows tend to be a little chunky. Not always a smooth application. And it was definitely like it for, the, for this little mini palette here. I had really high hopes for this one. I actually had had more high hopes for this palette than I did the I Live I Love palette. But we're going to do a video on that one really soon. It should follow shortly after this one. I think the overall the look overall came out okay, but it took me a while. It's from start to finish. It was like okay. The blending wasn't really happening. It wasn't really working on that well. All of it was just a, a, a hassle. Like it, <laughs> it really was. And I've never really had that much of an issue with Juvia's Place's eyeshadows. But this one took a little bit of skill. Like it required some work. I did anticipate better quality than what I received. Just keeping it above. They're not available on the Juvia's Place website if you're interested in trying it for yourself. They're not there. But if you want to take a chance on it, then you can catch it on Ulta's website. So with the lip sets, I would like to say the one that I really liked the most was the Lover Girl. I think that con that combination with the blue and the red actually was pretty. It was pretty decent. I'd pre if I had to choose one, I would say go with this. Go with the Lover Girl set, which you can get on. I don't know. You can't get it on Juvia's Place, but you can get it on Ulta. 
this one. I mean, it was just something about this color, and this color is what? Um, Self-love. It just wasn't doing what it needed to do in the center of my mouth, and it was just looking real crazy. It was looking too, too pasty. The lip pencils from Juvie's Place, the ones that I tried, I mean, they're okay. Like, I wouldn't tell anybody to spend 10 or however much, how many dollars on these lip pencils. I've used better, and I've used, like, eyeliners or whatever for us deeper skin toned um, people to, to find other shades because, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I'll use it, but as of right now, I really couldn't tell you that I would repurchase, just to be honest. The brushes, I love this one. <laughs> I will say this, with the, the blending brushes, the blending brush is okay. This flat brush was dope. I like this. I mean, they're all right. I'm overall, like, underwhelmed with this particular collection. Like, I'm in awe that I was rushing to get everything, and it was what it was. And I still have one palette to try, and that, that might be a winner in comparison to the ice. But it's okay. The blending brush, I think they're just too soft. I didn't use this one. This one, I mean, it had some, I don't know. Maybe it was just the, the eyeshadows that really wasn't blending well. And I'll try it with something else. It wasn't doing what I needed to do when I didn't. I mean, it ultimately blended what I needed to, but it just took a while. And I just feel like this video was taking way too long for what it was. Do I recommend this collection? I don't. <laughs> I feel like you have you have a red, you have neutral color lips, you have you have makeup brushes. Like there's really no need to hop up and get anything. No, like if you are a collector of makeup brushes, that'd be one of the main things that I'll tell you to get. Oh, and maybe the lip kits. Ultimately, like out of the collection is the lip kits. But um, the this ice palette, if you are that curious, honey. Find something else. Find something else that will spark your interest so you can spend your $15 on because it isn't the, the best quality palette out there. Now, I really can't speak for the other one yet. I haven't worked with it, but I just have a feeling that we may have the same outcome. So if you like this video, and I understand I wasn't, I was furthest from being my upbeat self, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope you you got to see what you needed to see out of this video. If you want to connect with your girl on social media, you can find me on everything Tally as I can eat. That's on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I will catch you all in the next. Bye. Happy holidays. Yeah, this this is something. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you.